would like to request now uh, Mr. Vikas Swaroop, Joint Secretary, Minister of External Affairs, and also spokesperson to come forward and just speak on the occasion. Thank you. Uh, good evening. His Excellency, Mr. Tariq Azuz, Ambassador of Tunisia. His Excellency, Mr. Hatem El Sayed Tagaldin, the Ambassador of Egypt. His Excellency, Hamid Saif El Rawahi, the Ambassador of Oman. I believe the ambassadors of Brunei and Ethiopia uh, are also with us. Uh, so, warm welcome to you two as well. Members of the Film Zero team, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, let me begin first of all by congratulating Tunisia for the great honor of the Nobel Peace Prize. We begin today with zero, or rather, we begin without it. The concept of zero at its heart is the concept of non-existence, the notion of shunya. How do you express nothingness? This was the dilemma that plagued the minds of our early philosophers. And as you begin to watch the story of the father and son from Tunisia in this unique film, I'm sure that you will understand why this question was of paramount importance. This film represents, as Mr. Chata said, a unique collaboration at one level between India and Tunisia, but also between India and the Arab world as a whole. And there is nothing new or surprising in that synthesis. Indeed, the spread of zero and its application today in every aspect of our existence was on account of the interlinkages between our ancient civilizations. At the time, the Indian and Arab cultures represented the high watermark of knowledge in the sciences, astronomy, mathematics, philosophy, literature, and art. Their collaboration resulted in some of the greatest scientific and philosophical dis discoveries and advances of the time and was a shining beacon at a time when the rest of the world was still in the dark ages. Why did the Indians invent the zero? And why? did the Arabs promote it? And amazingly, why at one point in the history of Greece, it, its use was banned? Mr. Nidhal Chatta, through the protagonists, explores the peculiarities of this number zero, which as he said, is one of the most amazing uh, discoveries of our modern history. Zero fascinated and annoyed many at the same time, and some found zero to be a very scary number indeed. Through the film, Mr. Chata tries to introduce us to the societies that held the center stage of curiosity, exploring new concepts, thought about eternity of time, about infinity of space, and many more newer ideas, disregarding the dogmas that were prevalent at the time. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, let me confess that in my school days, mathematics was not my strong suit. But for once, Mr. Chata, makes the subject of mathematics and all the zeros, decimals, and number tables that nagged us so much in our younger days a lot more interesting and visually a treat to watch. I'm sure all of you who have braved yourself for a Friday evening rendezvous with zero will find it a very interesting date indeed. It is my privilege now to welcome you to the screening of this documentary film, Zero. Enjoy.